So it's 7.05. <clears throat> I'm going to stop sharing my screen for just a second here and we'll get started. Um, Colby, you'll continue to let participants in, correct? Okay. Um, so hi, everybody. I'm Annie Keith. I'm the Chief Operating Officer here and I have the great um, honor and pleasure to work with Farah Mead, Colby Wyckoff, Sharon O'Brien, and Rachel Stein, who are responsible for health and wellness and membership and member engagement and all the, the great things that we do here. So I'm going to just do a quick introduction and they're going to talk a little bit about some of the things that you may want to uh, know about. Oh, and Carmen, there's Carmen. Hi, Carmen. Carmen just back from having a baby. Looking good. Welcome. Um, so um, tonight we know that um, people are ready to get, some of you I think have been back and some of you are ready to come back. and. Um, you know, we uh, at the JCC feel pretty good about how well we have managed the crisis this year with lots of COVID guidelines and lots of people following those guidelines. And we do know uh, from our sources in the governor's office, as many of you I'm sure know too, that things are going to loosen up a little bit. Um, we actually have a COVID advisory board that's made up of professionals from all of the major hospital systems and some of our board members and some of our staff members. And we also are in regular communication with the Department of Public Health, both the state and local DPH and uh, with the West Hartford school system and with our mayor and with our governor. So we have lots of conversations about what's happening and um, you know, what kind of guidelines are um, relevant for us. And I'm, of course, I'm sure you've probably all seen the reopen Connecticut um, information that we monitor on a daily basis to see what's changed and what's um, uh, different and how we need to accommodate those guidelines. So I will tell you that um, the first week of May, we'll be meeting with our COVID advisory group to talk about um, the changes that the governor put forth last week that are going to happen as of May 20th or May actually May 19th, May 20th, um, what it means for us, what's going to change or what might not change. I will tell you the thing that we do know, um, at least uh, from now until probably mid-summer, is that masks are most likely going to be continue to be required indoors. Um, if the, for those of you who were here in the beginning of uh, the reopening, they did allow people to take their masks off once they reached their health and wellness space, whether it was a class or a treadmill or whatever, as long as we were able to have proper social distancing, people only had to wear the mask to get into the building or to, you know, if you were just somewhere in the building sitting and talking with someone, you had to keep your mask on. So those are all considerations that we, and, and we didn't have any outbreaks um, related to JCC usage. And we feel like the way that we managed the guidelines lent to us, you know, we know that there were other fitness places that did experience outbreaks. And, you know, we're not, we're not going to just like throw in the towel and say, no more masks, no more social distancing. We're going to continue to play things safe. Um, but we do know that people getting um, vac fully vaccinated is uh, leading to more people coming in the facility, which is we're thrilled to see people coming back. And hopefully those of you who haven't come back yet will feel comfortable once you talk with us and see a little bit about what we're doing. I am going to share my screen and show you just for your reference points, if you go to, um, hang on one second, let me do this. If you go to the main um, JCC page, there's a tab that says we're open and everything that we're doing um, will be in this section so that you'll know what our hours of operation is. There's the pool schedule. Farrell wanted to make sure that I uh, shared with all of you um, how to make a reservation. I will tell you, um, the fitness classes, the swimming pool and the basketball gym all really need a reservation, um, mainly because they're, we're still limited in our capacity in most of the spaces. But when you click on make a reservation, it takes you to um, a screen where you can choose what you're making a reservation for. And then um, the staff will know that you're coming in. So the fitness floor, 
you know, we have a lot of availability on the fitness floor, but it's still a good idea to, to register anyway. The training pool, the whirlpool, the lap lanes, they are, they are filled most of the day. So you definitely want to make a reservation or you won't be able to get in. Um, the, the group water group classes are, are typically filled. Uh, group exercise, Farah's done a great job of making sure that we have hybrid classes um, where you can do it online or you can do it in person. We're back outdoors again, which um, allows us for more people. Um, and it's really, people really enjoy taking the classes outdoors. So this is the, the reservation screen. Again, you're just gonna go to, um, I'll go back to the beginning. <clears throat> you're gonna go on our homepage and where you see we're open, or you can just do reservations. Um, that's where you'll get most of the information you need about coming into the, the building and how we're doing things. There's a section for every area of the JCC and including our, our COVID guidelines. Um, so hopefully that will be helpful information for all of you. Um, and, you know, as we go through the evening, um, we're going to uh, let you know about a few things um, that we're planning and let you know how things are going here. But please feel free to um, put anything in the chat room, any questions you'd like to ask that you didn't ask in advance. We did get a few questions in advance, so we're prepared to answer those. Um, after all the staff finish making a, a short presentation, you will, we, we, if we don't have a lot of people, um, we'll probably just allow you to unmute yourself and ask a question. But if you think you might forget it, put it in the chat room. So we'll be able to remember that. So I'm gonna start out by introducing our newest staff member. Um, she comes to us through our, um, our relationship with Trinity Healthcare. She's a program person that we have worked with for many years. Um, doing health and wellness programs. Um, we were lucky enough to be able to lure her away from what she was doing. And uh, she has come to us to be our community wellness director. Her name is Sharon O'Brien. And one of the things that we know for sure is that health and wellness are going to be considered essential services. If they weren't before, they certainly are now. And um, with the help of um, many of our wonderful donors at the JCC, we were able to bring Sharon in and allow her to do programming, some of which is open and free to everyone in the community. Um, and some of it will be paid programming, but she's gonna talk a little bit about what she's doing to help people um, come back and feel good about coming back and figure out what they wanna do when they come back. So I'm gonna turn it over to Sharon to tell you a little bit about what she's doing. And I hope for those of you who haven't been in the building yet, you'll stop by, meet her and give her a warm welcome. Thank you, Annie. Yeah, definitely stop by and see me. My office is right on the first floor and um, I'm thrilled to be here, thrilled to be at the JCC. And I have to say that in the last few weeks, being right in that um, area near where the um, cafe is, that's where my office is. And it, you can feel the energy, and I think um, David said this earlier in the day too, that you can feel that people are coming back and you can feel the, uh, see, I can see the little kids coming in for classes and it, it's just, it feels really good to have people back. Um, so my role um, at the JCC is really to bring health and wellness information um, to the members as well as to the community. And we did a, a number of things um, even in this month to just get things started. We started with a um, guided meditation that we're doing every Wednesday at 11.30. So that's something that everybody can participate in. It's free and it's on Zoom. So that's not something you, you need to come into. And actually we've had some good response to that. So we're going to continue that into May and into June. And even through the summer, if people continue, I'm doing it every day anyway. So. Um, I'm happy to have people join me and we just send you the link. It's only a 15 minute little um, uh, brief presentation and you just meditate in your home in your own easy chair. So it's kind of nice. Um, we've also done some other things. We did an um, acupuncture program for allergies and um, for uh, headaches. And uh, Annie's kind of scrolling through some of the Sorry. programs we have coming up in May. We have an infant massage. We have a prepare for surgery, heal faster class. And um, these are really good to just, if you know anybody who's having surgery, just get you prepared and get you in the right frame of mind. Um, this particular class has had really great um, research behind it. And we've been able to help people to um, just get back on their feet, recover faster, have less medication. 
Um, and physicians and surgeons love this program because they see the difference it makes in uh, individuals who are having surgery. Um, <clears throat> the infant massage is great. We have a great massage therapist who does that. And um, right now, which is not on here, um, we're doing a seasonal cleanse. So we have a naturopath physician who actually uh, is going through a seasonal cleanse with everybody and she's making herself available too so that um, they can contact her with any issues that they have along the way. So it's, it's just, we're trying to do a little bit of um, some different things to just bring people in. And we actually did that in a small group. We had a few people come in and then there's also people um, on the Zoom, so it was nice. Um, and next month also, uh, Annie had up there a drumming class. Um, so that's something that we're gonna do in a, another small group um, situation. And then you might remember also um, in October, we, were, um, we introduced holistic health options to the JCC, and we were able to bring some um, great services to um, the building actually, and to, to members. And we have already about 150 individual clients that um, have come in to see um, our uh, providers. So we have um, community acupuncture, we have massage therapy, we have hypnosis, and we have um, sound and energy therapy. And any of those modalities can be really comforting. They can also really help with pain management and with, um, side effects from medications. So if you have any of those issues and want to just come talk to us about what they might be, um, we'd love to, to talk to you about it. Also, um, Annie showed in the beginning of the showcase, and we're going to be doing um, experientials. So you can come try those services for free. We'll have all of those, acupuncture, chair massage, um, sound therapy, and energy therapy. And um, I don't think we're going to do hypnosis that day, but we are going to do something called the M technique. And that's just a really relaxing kind of um, gentle stroke that uh, like in, a, in an eight on the back, the arms and the legs. So it's a really nice thing. So um, that's kind of the, some of the services and programs that we have and that we have coming up. And now I'm going to turn it over to Farah, who's going to talk about fitness and group fitness and that sort of thing. Hi, everyone. Uh, I am here to answer on any of your questions about the fitness center, group fitness and personal training. Um, but I thought I'd just give you an overview. I know some of you are coming into the JCC, but some of you, um, we have not seen your faces indoors and just kind of wanted to let you know that one of our main priorities when we started to reopen back in June, when we were putting everything back to open for July 1st, we, uh, our main priority is how to make sure our facility was safe. And one thing that we, we've, we've been grateful for is the amount of space that we have in our facility and have been able to repurpose for fitness and, and really spread everybody out. Um, as things get to look better with COVID and we're, 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 our priority is still back where it was before we reopened to make sure that our facility continues to remain a safe place for you to work out. Um, so if you came back and want to come back for a tour, you'd be able to see all the different spaces and, and, and see just what I was talking about. Um, as far as group fitness, uh, we pretty much started March 14th of last year, um, introducing virtual and, um, online, uh, classes and opportunities for people to work out. And through this past year, uh, we've progressed and continue to progress towards increasing the quality of what we're doing. Um, my cat's going to walk in front of the screen. Um, so as far as group fitness options, we continue to, we, we continue to um, improve our hybrid option, which seems to be the most popular right now. People who want to come in, um, people who prefer to be at home can, can still tap into a class that's happening right then and right now. Um, they, uh, uh, with the hybrid classes, many of them are recorded and we have, um, brought on a library of classes that we, um, upload the classes we record onto so that people can do classes at their convenience, which we find is also very beneficial for people, which is something that I feel like is always going to be around 
um, because people have gotten used to it and, and enjoy not always having to make a class at a particular time. Um, we have virtual only classes, which um, have remained very popular as well. And as Annie mentioned, we have just recently been able to go back outdoors to Jonathan's dream to um, embrace the outdoors. So many different options, whether you want to be in class, inside or outside or at home, or even the option to do both and come in or go to the outside classes or do it from the comfort of your living room. Um, the last piece of fitness that we offer is personal training. Um, you know, that's especially right now with many people kind of reintroducing them to their, their themselves to their workout personal training um, is still available we've we've added a couple personal trainers this past year um, who who have many different who are available at many different times over weekends and nights and that's an opportunity for you even if it's just a couple of sessions to kind of reintroduce yourself you know the longer we're away from our physical activity it it makes it a little bit more difficult and sometimes it's just nice to have somebody else plan what you're going to do um, so know that you have many options available to you we welcome you to come back to see how we're doing things um, you know i think you know amy i know has been in um, and you know many other people a couple other people who were on at one point here <laughs> um, have been in or attending some of our classes um, and we'll attest to um, what we're doing there and, and your safety is our priority. Um, so if you have any questions about the fitness center or personal training or group fitness, please let me know and I can answer those questions. Um, also, if you want a tour, feel free to stop in or give us a call and schedule one. We're happy to walk you around. Um, we have tours pretty much going on all day long. So at your convenience. I'm going to turn it over to Colby right now. Um, she's just going to talk a little bit about our aquatic center and let you know how to, what's all going on there and, and how to um, reserve the lanes and a little bit about that. So. Hi welcome. everyone. I'm Colby. I am the director of member relations. Um, I apologize if I freeze my internet is a little unstable. Um, so I'm going to briefly talk about what's going on in our aquatics department for those who are interested. Um, so reservations are required and Annie walked everybody through how to make those reservations. So if you need any additional assistance with making a reservation, um, you can email me. I will put my email in the chat box after. Um, and Annie will go through it again, or you can call the front desk and they can also help walk you through how to make a reservation. Um, masks are required when on the pool deck. Masks are also required if you're not physically swimming. So if you're sitting in the whirlpool, you would have to wear a mask. And if you are in a group exercise class in the training pool, you would also have to wear a mask. But if you're actively swimming, um, you do not have to wear a mask. Um, as of right now, one person per lane is acceptable unless you are sharing a lane with somebody from the same household and then we can allow two people per lane from the same household. In the training pool, we are allowing up to four people from the same household on each side of the training pool. So that's the training pool is the pool that the floor moves up and down. Uh, we have divided it in half down the middle. So eight people are able to be in the pool at one time. Um, and you would make a reservation for half of the pool. So four on each side, and they would have to be from the same household. Uh, let's see, 45 minute time slots for swimming. And for the Whirlpool, we have 10 minute time slots. And all of those are reflected on the reservation when you go into the website and look for the time that works for you. Uh, we are cleaning and disinfecting periodically throughout each day. Um, and based on popular demand, we have found that the pool is a very popular um, area of the building, which Annie mentioned before, is, is often filled up. So we have adjusted the schedule to um, actually add an additional time slot in the morning in one of the more popular um, hours of the day. So we are happy to be able to accommodate more people in the pool. Now that will be starting uh, effective May 2nd. 
Um, we have daily group swimming lessons for children available. Classes are almost full if you have anybody who's interested. And we have private swimming lessons available as well if you or a family member are not yet comfortable being in a group setting. And we are also offering three opportunities, lifeguard training courses coming up in May, June, and July. And our locker rooms and showers are open and being cleaned and disinfected throughout the day. I know that might've been a question. Um, so that's all I have for aquatics. Uh, Farah, very briefly, can you just touch upon racquetball as well? Yes, racquetball is um, pretty close to how it was pre-COVID. Uh, you need to call the desk and make a reservation for your court. Um, and we currently allow two people to be in there at, which I believe is normally what happens anyway you do need to wear your mask just like everywhere else you you walk around um, within our facility um, but you still need to make a reservation that is the one place you cannot make a reservation on our website that has to be called to the desk all right and i am going to pass it over to sharon and i will put my email in the chat box as well in case anybody has any additional questions about aquatics or anything else? Sharon? Okay, thank you. Um, so with all of the things that are available to you and um, assuming you might be ready or thinking about coming back if you're not already back with us, we decided to put together a little program called Ease Back In. And that's basically to help anybody who is not quite sure where to begin. So if you come in, you can come see me and I'll do a 15 minute free coaching class with you, coaching session. And it will really be to identify and discuss what your goals are to make sure you understand all your options. And actually when I was working with Farah on this, I found out some things that are going on in the JCC that I wasn't aware of. And, and one in particular was the injury recovery and the amount of time that personal training is available. So that, can be a really nice thing if you're not sure where to begin um, to get somebody to really help you one on one. Um, and also, I've had a chance to try the fitness classes and the aquatics classes. So um, I can answer some of your questions on any of those as well, and then certainly refer you to the experts in those areas. Um, in addition, I can help you set up a plan for yourself. So if you're a little nervous about beginning after not exercising for a long time or not um, really being able to take care of yourself the way you wanted to, then I'm happy to just sit down and help you to do that. So um, stop at the desk, there's a little flyer, or you can just call and um, they'll forward you right over to me and I'm happy to sit down with you for a little bit. Sharon, um, I think you, I don't think you uh, made a very big deal about this, but you have your coaching certification, which makes you the perfect person to, to do this because you're a great coach. And we also have Kathy Armstrong Crouch, who's a great mm -hmm. coach in her area as well. So um, that's yeah. that's how you can ease back in is through some great coaching, I think. Yes, thank you. And then the only other thing that I wanted to mention too is one of my other roles is to kind of reach out to corporations. And we really want to um, make sure that companies know that we have everything for the whole person. So not only do we have the fitness, but we have um, the wellness aspect and we have relationships with health institutions to really meet the needs of everybody. And we want to offer those services to companies as well. And that can be virtually, it can be in person, it can be uh, team building types of things that we can do on the JCC campus and out at the camp. Um, so we're also looking for you, all of our members to give us um, ideas of, of companies that you might know about that might have an interest in that. And I'd be happy to reach out to them and, and see if they might want to add to the benefits that they already have within the company. So if any of you have um, ideas about that, I'm happy to, I love your input on that as well. And I can put my email in here too in the chat so that you can email me directly or just come in and see me. <laughs> So, um, I don't, Rachel, Carmen, Colby, Fair, anybody else have anything they want to add before we open up the floor to um, questions? Yeah, I'll just add something about the tours for anybody that is um, a little weary on coming in and wants to see. 
we would be happy to give you a personalized tour and walk you around and show you to make you feel comfortable. We, as Farah said, we are doing these constantly and it's a really good feel good piece for a member so that they can see what we've done, how the whole process goes. Some members who haven't been back at all haven't even seen our new secure front entrance. And so we will go through how you scan your card to unlock the door to come in and then go up to our fitness facility. We're very excited to get everybody back in the building and it's looking really great, as Sharon said, with hearing the kids running around and seeing new faces or old faces new again. And it's wonderful to see. So um, with that said, with the few people that we have on since, um, you know, we won't all be talking over one another, feel free to unmute yourself and ask a question, give us a comment, um, anything you'd like to say. Anyone? Amy? I'd like to know when non-members may come with us as a guest. Let Rachel take that. So we are looking to do that um, hopefully after May 20th when we hear um, about some of the changes. Currently, the reason we are not allowing non-member guests in, unless it's a non-member who wants to tour and to try us out to join, is due to our reservation system. Um, our swimming pool, as well as our basketball courts and our in-person fitness classes are filled. Um, there are spaces available for the fitness classes and some for basketball, but our swimming pool is really filled by members. Because we are following the guidance, we have members who still can't even get into the pool. So we didn't feel it was fair for members um, to be kind of pushed behind for a guest who were coming in. We are, like I said, after May 20th, we'll see what happens for the summer, for sure. We are looking to really get everybody back in and more normalized, but that is the reason. It's so that our members feel like they have first choice to what they wanna do for those that supported us throughout, those that donated with us and those that were frozen and now feel comfortable coming back. Thank you. Also, Amy, in the beginning, we also just, um, with the capacity issues, I mean, now we don't have, they took away the capacity uh, other than the pool and the gym uh, or the gymnasium, I mean. So we don't have the same capacity issues that we did. So we just started having the conversations about how we will welcome guests in. But Rachel has said um, to anyone who's asked if they, if you have somebody who's interested in joining because we are gonna be doing a membership campaign because I'm sure you probably all are aware that we don't have, you know, our, uh, we don't have the same number of members that we did um, a year and a half ago, and we really need to have more members coming in and paying dues. So we are going to be doing a membership campaign. So anyone who has potential members that you'd like to bring in, we certainly want to welcome them, give them a guest pass, show them around. Um, but it was also, you know, a lot of people were bringing in guests that were like grandchildren and things like that. And there's not so much for children to do at the moment other than members taking classes like swimming lessons. So um, it's a it's a little bit more than just you know we were trying to to avoid overcrowding. We just definitely want to we we do want to resolve this and we do want to welcome people back in who haven't been in our facility and we will certainly be doing that in the coming month or so. Thank you. Hi, um, it's Howard Dushevsky. Um It feels like a long time not being in there, so I'm really looking forward to coming back in. Um, the fitness area, is that also is an appointment if you want to use machines or treadmills or, and is there a time limits on that? I know probably that's on the, the homepage. Hi, Howard. Um, you are just making a reservation for the fitness center. You're not making an appointment for a particular piece of equipment. Um, we, we aren't monitoring time frames that people are on pieces of equipment right now. There's just really no need to do that. Um, we, our, our equipment is spaced all over the fitness center, on the track, down in the gymnasium. Um, so, you know, you're just free to travel around that whole area down, even down into our fitness areas down by the gymnasium as well to find the right spot for you to work out. Yeah, yeah. Um, what else? Um, we also were able to help you with um, the times of day that right. are 
most available if that's what you're interested in. Farah knows how many people are there at every hour of the day. Yeah. So that might be helpful. And that's why we're still encouraging reservations because there are people who will call and say, tell me when your least busy time is, that's when I want to come. Right, right. Yeah, I will tell you the early morning is kind of the most normal. Uh, the evening has some normalcy to it as well. I would say anything after 10 a.m. to about four o'clock is is on the quieter side, generally. The weekends tend to be a little bit busier throughout the day, but still not what you're probably used to pre-COVID, so. <laughs> so the idea of easing back, I like that. I, I mean, I've been doing some things at home and it it's definitely not the same in terms of using the same the different muscles, different different activities. So, you would um, I would either book something like that online or just come in and do that. For the ease back in, um, we are we don't have a book online thing for that. But if you oh. call and talk to me, I can book book it with you. Oh. Um, usually, I'm there and I can probably see when you walk in. But I, I just want to make sure. So just give a call ahead of time. Okay. Howard, her, um, Sharon's um, email is in the chat box if you oh. see that, yeah. Yep, thanks. And the girls at the front desk can get, can transfer you to her as well. Okay, anybody else? Mr. Asia, do you have any questions for us? I don't have any questions. You guys have been doing an incredible job during this whole pandemic, so thank you all. Okay, well, we'll, we'll be seeing uh, you. It's, uh, group it's, Jack. it's Jack, can you hear me? Yeah. yeah I, have, I have a question for you. First, it's great to hear the uh, work you're doing to keep the building open and how you've kept it open safely. So congratulations on the work you've done. I have a question regarding the racquetball. Uh, so Farah, it might be you I'm addressing this question to. Uh, racquetball can be played with two people, which is singles, three people, which is cutthroat, or four people, which is doubles. If all the players um, have, are fully vaccinated and wearing a mask, would it be okay to move beyond the singles game and potentially have a cutthroat game with three people or doubles with four people? Currently, we only allow two people in the racquetball court. Um, so at this point, that, that is where we stand as far as spacing and you know, it's really a social distance thing. And, a, um, you know, we will keep reevaluating as we continue to see how the, the state progresses with their guidelines and how they affect our guidelines. But currently the guidelines are two and, and masks. So it's based on square footage and based on the square footage in the racquetball courts, that's why we can only do two. I understand, okay, thank you. Okay, any other questions or comments? Um, if, you, if any of you have friends who miss this, we will be posting the recording so that anybody who wasn't able, we had a lot of reservations and we know people may have forgotten or, or maybe you've got friends who are interested. So we'll post this uh, so that everybody can hear what we had to say, but um, always see us in person, call us. You know, We're not that big of a place that we can't on the fly, just sit down with you and, and help you ease back in and get ready to, to rejoin us. And we do look forward to seeing you all and have a lovely rest of your evening.